Hi, welcome to YouTube. So today what I'm gonna do is I wanted to talk about Out Arena Dungeon. So this one is most hardest dungeon in the game right now, definitely by so far. I uh, wanted to explain to you guys uh, what I do to make a team right now. Uh, I know if you look at my YouTube, uh, I think I beat solo. I would say about 40 to 50 right now on different lead clearing out arena solo. I know not to, not too many people do and you know a lot of people just play you know Edo, Edward because it's the strongest lead in the game right now and clear and stuff like that, Bloom Hunter co-op but if you want to play different leads what do you, what do you should be watch out? or well, even you playing Edward um, if you're new to the out arena what do you should be watch out while, uh, while you try to do this dungeon? Okay, so I'm gonna just go to roughly from 1 to 21. Okay, so the first floor, uh, nothing really to watch out. Uh, only thing you have to watch out on the red one, if you actually do damage and you didn't kill him by accident. On se every second turn, he will hit you like so hard, like 10k, 80k, I mean not 80k. Yeah, 80k, 80k, 100k even. So if you didn't finish him in turn one, make sure to kill him on next turn, okay? And blue ninja, basically same as all the old arena, just different. Uh, there is extra color absorb and still bind you and even hit harder, okay? And the green one on turn three after he get mad, the first time he do blind on the bottom. He do get mad on next turn, third turn, he will kill you, so watch out. And Black Ninja, unfortunately he do Awoken Bullet with different, uh, with weird setup. If you see the other, like if you see like a yellow one, you just stole it out. If not, if you have Green Odin, I probably just stole it and kill it on last turn. Something like that, it depends, you know. Okay, second floor. Alright, so this one we can say for everything. First turn, those everybody going to put the shield up. So only the light one is 35%, everything else is 75 shield. Which as you can see the HP 75% means 140 million HP, which is gonna be really high. So what I really recommend or what I usually do is you store or kill in first turn. Alright? Um, red one make half board into fire to jammer, so most likely you can't really kill. Uh, it's you can say for everything here. First turn he put up shield. Next turn he will do damage, and next turn he any uh, anybody do hearts to blue fire green stuff like that, and next turn he will gravity you. And on that turn, after the gravity, you have one free turn. He's gonna get mad. And that turn, you, uh, the 75% shield wears off. So that turn, you want to kill it. So if you're doing, you know, wild at it, make the board to be able to kill. So like you stall, you stall, you know and make sure you can kill it on the turn it wears out when he's mad at it that turn you want to kill and now for blue on the preemptive jammer if you miss it he will hit for like 80k which is pretty much most of the team die so make sure to you match the jammer now green one on the preemptive he will do random board uh, this one if you actually and the 7 combo need to be 7 combo and above to do a damage if you do if you play in green team try to do 7 combo or more so that way you get green sky for 99 any any other team try not to even do combo so you don't get 99 turn of green sky falling on you okay it's gonna take a long time this one I'm gonna explain every single monster okay yellow one Preemptive, if you don't match all the jammer, he will also hit hard. So, 
make sure to match all the gem on the preemptive. Okay, on the dark one, this one if you do certain damage on him, he will do Jama and Hurt Skyfall. And you don't really want that. So either you cannot kill it, then don't do not too much damage on him on the first turn. Okay? And also when he makes Jama, make sure you match. Because if you don't do uh if you don't do it, while the turn is supposed to gravity, instead he will attack you and you could die from it. Okay? Alright, so first preemptive preemptive floor available on third floor, which is green at 49164. 49164. That's the biggest one. The dark one gonna be 47 something. 47495. So hopefully your team has that kind of HP at least. So that way you can tank. Once you, you tank, green one is free. Dark one is pretty much free, uh, you know, uh, and if you have a dark one team, he will bind you on the turn that he wears off the dark shield, dark absorb, which is kind of seven turn, which is kind of long. On the yellow one, if you decide to stall on the third, every third turn, make sure to match your poison and survive. Alright, and then the fire one, nothing too much to worry about, though if you don't do 70% or below, 75% or below on turn 1, he will hit 50k. So make sure you hit those le at least 75 or below, otherwise you could die. Okay, now blue one, time extend, try to store, the, these are the damage, 16, 32, 49, 65. So try to tank as much as possible because minus 3 seconds and not too far, right? Okay, so I close that. Next, Ney Floor and Mask. Now, this is what I really want you guys to do. On turn 1, I want to kill at least a Mask. Because on next turn, uh, if you don't kill on next turn, Ney Monster is going to do Jama on the mi middle, which is basically making the board very awful for any team unless you are lucky to meet the last one after the mask is the color you playing then you're lucky but most likely you want to kill mask on turn one okay if you don't and next turn after they make jammer they will do gravity and mask will finish you off so make sure to do that. On this nay, you don't need no follow-up attack to do. If you do follow-up attack, you actually miss few time on storing. Unless you have some skill delay, a uh, mask with skill delay. So always, pretty much, you don't want to follow-up attack here. Alright, number five, any latent here will hit for 45,000. So make sure you can tank, then you, you can tank. If not, make sure you do your shield activation or make sure you kill. All right. All right, six floor. All right, six. Most likely, if your lead is non skyfall lead, pretty much you can do damage control. Or if your team is very damage controllable, you can do damage control. Most likely, even my clear, I use Fujin. He is very free to store. Don't leave him at full HP because when you leave at the full HP, that's gonna be 60k. Uh, it doesn't say on this one, but on on the full HP, he will do frozen pain, which is same same as that on 20%. Okay, so make sure to do some damage, and you know, just store it out for Fujin. Now, Fulcret, not too many people know this, but I want you guys to know. Uh, this one is that uh, we use every three turn when above twenty percent HP. This is true, but on first first hit of this one is two turn. So on turn two, forty five K hit gonna, going to happen. So make sure you forty five four eight zero gonna happen. So make sure you be be able to tank the hit. Once you tank it, it's gonna be every three turn for forty five. So make sure you prepare for it. Now, um, as you see, if you know on every first, second turn, and after that every three turn, all they're gonna hit is 31,000 at top. 
So if you are above that HP, make sure to keep heal. Cause there is a chance of the gravity as you can see right here. So make sure to keep heal. Okay? Alright, so the next uh, dark one here, preemptive poison. So hopefully you have a border change available for this floor. Um, if not, if not, um, you have a poison resist that will be do good. That's either one of them. You don't really be able to match that poison because on the middle, if you have no hurts, you kind of really messed up unless you have a super good recovery like Riku and stuff like that. But even then, you want to have a border change or poison assist for this this floor. Okay. Alright, so next one seven. Alright, biggest preemptive here is fifty two six nine. So hopefully you can tank with pure HP. That's you know what I usually do is that's the number you wanna go for fifty two six nine to tank. Of course, if you possible, there is next level I'm gonna explain later, Ogre Floor, which is sixty five K that you want to tank. If you can purely get that HP you save active which is amazing also re5 we're going to talk about this later 77 700 if you can purely get the hp you save h uh, you save shield you know if, if your lead has a shield which is good if you can purely tank that with 25 percent shield you are nice too but anyways for this one 5269 as long as you tank this you are all set uh, when you don't follow up attack, he, uh, as soon as he hit the follow up attack or even less than half, he will hit for 5269 again. So make sure you can recover it up, back up to 5269, or otherwise you kind of need to store for the HP and go for damage. Now, he will make ball fire to light a lot, and one certain point, he will literally make whole board fire to let a light. So you kind of want to kill him as soon as possible. I believe when he starts doing that is when the shield, 50% shield wears off. Okay? Alright, so the green one, a uh, blue one. Alright, so blue one, what, he's going to make Jama on the first preemptive. There is no preemptive except skill delay. But once the Town, uh, is it preemptive? Okay, so uh, I don't think he hit, but okay, there, there's a 44,000 K hit. I wasn't pre uh, pay attention to that too much. I, I thought he just made Jama on the board only, but I guess 44K preemptive. I don't, I'm not sure on that usually, but after that time, he will hit, he could hit for 44K and make something to hurt, and on that 44k HP is very huge sometime and if you have to do rainbow match to get the shield you know you cannot really get rainbow match because he will make the board really literally full jammer so you gonna have either have 44k HP after first turn or you need to use board change or something to activate shield or whatever to tank it okay now once the first turn ends if you try to kill him on turn 1, he will hit you twice at the follow up attack, like if you hit Resolve, which is kinda a lot of a, a high attack. I believe he do 44k and he will hit another 15. So very high, so usually I want to tank one, oh sorry, I want to tank one and next time if you hit him, he will do board, full board change to El Kari board. Actually, so D carry board plus jammer, and all you do is just tap it, and you can prepare to get the board for next ace floor. That's what I usually do. Now this absorb floor, I don't know, I don't know what Gunho was thinking. These guys are really, really strong. So hopefully you have a delay available here. So if you're playing like a blue lead, and if you see blue three blue. This dude, you're pretty much dead without delay. Cause the obzo, so pretty crazy. They hit so so hard if you take a look. 39k and they get mad. 
and that's 1.5x more than what's listed here and that's crazy damage so delay hopefully up here or hopefully you don't get wrong you know wrong color of the play luck on that okay all right nice flow as you can see it's only 20 million 18 million hp not too much in this out arena i mean it's a lot compared for the out arena 3 and stuff like that but in this dungeon 20 18 million hp is nothing anyways uh green one first turn full ta uh full ball to lock nine uh, uh that's not nine dark one is half recovery so Next floor, you roughly estimate is 65k thousand HP preemptive coming. I mean, 65k hit coming from the ogre. So make sure you get that HP before you have a kill this floor, or you have shield. You you use shield so you can tank the 65k. Okay. All right, tenth floor. Now, this guy a uh, really. OP 51 million and it moves slow, it doesn't hit you know every turn. Every 3 4 turn, depending on which one you spawn. Now, uh, if you take a look at this one, it's OP one. If it's above half, you hit for 36k or bind one time use. Uh, if it's below half, then he will hit you know harder even. So, just to know, uh, actually, no, that's preemptive. He will hit 56k. And I think it's like 90k or something like that below half. So if you can tank it, tank it. You know, just keep stalling here. If not, just kill it. You don't have to follow up attack. Just hit, kill him and hit the resolve and tap is usually what I do and kill it. Make sure to keep some recovery for this floor. You kind of want to kill it on last turn if you meet that one because your recovery is half. You know, and sometime I usually do on next floor which is 11 you can store here uh, you need to do 50 million damage to kill the left so usually you target left and just keep storing until you uh, have a Ulka or you know Fujin active up for soft dead if you can if you most likely can damage control so that's pretty much it and then kill the mask make sure you do your 50 million damage or guard break or damage boost and kill it that's pretty much to it if you kill one only they get mad for 10x and next time you're pretty much dead all right 12 floor so these here nothing you really need to worry about now on 13th floor there is Goemon which is 40, 146, sorry 145, 185 that's the preemptive damage so you're gonna need most likely any team Indra you're gonna be needing Indra active uh, now if you notice on 13th floor there is the Akizanami if you have any TE sub Awoken Yomi, Libo Yomi, Luciana Make sure you use your active or mask floor or something. Kind of adjust it. So in case you meet Dark Wizard, you can overwrite the time extend and keep going for it. Unless you have TARDIS, Dark Wizard is free win. So 12 floor, just nothing to really worry about. Uh, if you're going to YOLO for Goemon, go ahead. Because you can't, you know, use Totos delay your shield and stuff like that. Just go for YOLO, pretty much. Because you only see Goemon 1 out of 5. Which is never, but if you do that, usually you're gonna meet them anyway. But you know, if you have no choice, just go for it. All right, top floor. So again, uh, on the starting floor, Goemon 145. Oh, 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 sorry, 145k hit. Oh, sorry, getting lag. Where you go? So 145k hit, and after that turn, he could again hit for 75k. So if you cannot keep one shotting him, that might be could be a problem. So you know as long as you can keep one shotting him, he is no problem. Uh, if not, you know do your follow up attack and just kill him as soon as possible. Dark is enemy. Just remember this time extend half. Uh, very awful monster. Now resolve at. Uh, 
80, I believe, 88% resolve. Um, make sure if you hit resolve, he's going to do blind on the bottom and you're gonna do have to do 8 combo, which is super hard with minus TE. So it's good to have TE active just for this. Um, now, if you decide to stall, what he, what she will do is first turn Jama a uh, poison bolt, and he will, she will lock. Next turn, hearts to Jama, and next turn she will do hundred percent, hundred percent gravity. So that turn you die. Now, when you decide to go below half, she will do get mad. And she, I think she will do 10x damage, which is a lot, and you can't really tank usually. So that, so you need to watch, watch out about that, okay? Now Noah. Noah is delayable. If you don't want to really play a random orb on the middle and doing combo that way, just delay. 116 million with 75 is pretty hard anyways, so just delay if possible. Eliza, one of the easy ones if your lead is not bindable and your team is kind of not bindable but if your team is bindable it's kind of hard but it's kind of RNG that you gotta take for some team Alright, Gaia, delayable, hopefully you have delay available for this floor because if your color cannot be matched then you can't really do anything anyways uh, Guard break Still yet, you need delay because you need to tank. It's, it's not, you cannot be matching some kind of color anyway, so you won't activate guard break. So delay is optimal for this and wait until this goes away and guard break, bust, bust hard. That's what you want to do. Okay. Alright, so first video, that's it. I'm going to talk about from 14 and above after this second mo a video, okay? Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just feel free to contact me on the YouTube comments or Discord or anything you want. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.